This is Gordon Fessick from AntiWindowsCatalog.com, and this is part 5 of a series on safeguarding your Windows 8 Pro PC. In part 4, I covered basic software restriction policies, where I told Windows not to allow program code to run in certain locations. I'm going to expand that in this part by making that the default behavior, where program code cannot run unless it's in certain locations. You want to do that so that your guests can't run applications off of a USB stick or a DVD drive. We're going to go back to our group policy editor to do this, gpedit. I made some adjustments since the first time I visited this. Notably, I added a rule for the public folder, which by default is C users public. Otherwise, I shortened these rules dramatically. What I used to have here was a path that said, look in this portion of the registry for the actual path. Well, it turns out regular environment variables work as well. So, program files, program files x86 if you're on 64-bit Windows, and system root were the ones where you want to allow programs regardless. These are read only to non-admins. But I had also added user profile, which is the home folder of the currently logged on user, all users profile, which is C program data by default. That is readable and writable for any user. And I added the recycle bin because some pieces of malware like to hide themselves in there. Well, I'm going to expand this now. The regular security level is unrestricted, which means unless there is a rule defined, always allow an application or executable code to run. I'm going to change that to disallowed. Set as default. Right click, set as default. Yes, may cause some programs to stop working. I'm kind of hoping for that, actually. So now, Windows will not run something unless there is a rule defined in here. Let's test that. <laughs> Piece of spam. Anyway. Okay, local disk E is a USB device. If I try and run this now, it should disallow it. Just like that. I can still, however, right-click on it and pick Run as Administrator. And it can still run. If I really need to run something off of a removable device, if I want to install something, for instance, I can right-click it, pick Run as Admin. The current software restriction policy says that administrators are exempt from the rules. Only non-admins are covered by these rules. So if I had an update, say, to Roxio Creator, and I don't want to switch accounts, I can still run Setup. I just have to run it as an admin. I'll just cancel this for now because it's already installed. So nothing stops us from running applications or installers off of removable media. You just need administrator credentials to do it. With the new policy in place, let's see if our properly installed applications still run. In my first SRP demonstration, I actually ran this and made a small DVD movie and did some basic editing with this. And it worked out just fine. 
But we have the new restricted by default uh, policy. Let's make sure that this still runs with this new policy on. So far, so good. That is advanced software restriction policies. It's not much to it. I don't even know why I bothered calling it advanced. <laughs> well, that'll do for now. Come back for part six.